All right, class, now that we've looked at the composition of the atmosphere, uh, let's take a look at the structure of the atmosphere. And meteorologists look at the structure of the atmosphere in uh, two different ways. We look at it in, um, uh, one way is to look at it in terms of the gaseous composition, the layers of the atmosphere that are based on gaseous composition. Um, and the other way will be temperature trends. That's coming up next. So. Let's take a look at the structure of the atmosphere based on uh, gaseous composition. And there are two layers of the atmosphere uh, that are based on uh, gaseous composition. And so let's start off uh, with our figure here. Uh, so if we have this, the surface here, we are at zero kilometers. We're at the surface. And we're going to go up to uh, about 80 kilometers here. And if you're uh, drawing these pictures along with me, uh, leave room off to the right because we're going to look um, at the structure of the atmosphere based on temperature trends over on the right hand side of this figure. Okay, And so uh, we're looking at the structure of the atmosphere based on gaseous composition first. And from zero kilometers up to about 80 kilometers, we call this the homosphere and so excuse me for writing vertically here but uh, this is going to be probably the best way to fit this in so uh, from zero to 80 kilometers is the uh, homosphere and um, you know look at the uh, prefix here uh, homo and, um, you know, where else do you see that, uh, that word? You know, you see it in milk. Milk is homogenized. And so what does that prefix homo mean? It means well mixed, okay? And so homogenized milk is well mixed. So the milk fat is well mixed in with the, with the milk. So you don't get separation of the milk fats floating to the top. Uh, in the atmosphere, uh, the homosphere is where the gases are well mixed. And so, you know, I'll draw it this way. So we just got a, an atmosphere that is being well mixed here. Okay. And so this is where we have uh, good atmospheric circulation. So good atmospheric circulation. And that good atmospheric circulation results in continuous mixing of the atmosphere, at least in the homosphere. Continuous mixing of all of the gases. Okay. And that is going to result in the proportion. Proportion. Of the uh, component gases uh, is relatively uniform. And what I mean by that is that, uh, remember in the, the previous drawing we had, um, 78% of the um, atmosphere was nitrogen, 21% was oxygen, 1% is um, argon. And so in the homosphere, for the most part, you find uh, wherever you go in the homosphere, 78% is going to be nitrogen, 21% is going to be oxygen, 1% is going to be argon, no matter where you are. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, you go up you know, at the top of Mount Everest, uh, certainly there's not as much air up there, but the air that is at the top of Mount Everest is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1% argon. Okay, And uh, so again, this is the, the homosphere. And above the homosphere, we have something called the heterosphere. Okay. And so above 80 kilometers... Heterosphere is the, we find the heterosphere. Uh, here the gases are not nearly as well mixed. Okay? And as a result, we're going to find that we get 
um, gases that are more layered in, in shells. Okay. So in the heterosphere, there is uh, less, less mixing. Okay, there's uh, this atmospheric circulation is not as great, and so because there's less mixing, uh, the gases are going to be stratified. Okay. Uh, into shells. And this diagram is going to get messy, so I apologize for that. All right. So um, above 80 kilometers then, we've got the heterosphere. Because there's less mixing going on, the gases are going to be stratified into shells. And they're stratified into shells based on their atomic or molecular weight. Okay. And so the bottommost shell here at 80 kilometers okay, is going to be a shell, uh, and so the innermost shell is going to be nitrogen. Okay, it's molecular nitrogen, N2. The next shell uh, is going to be atomic oxygen, which is just the letter O. Okay, and above oxygen is um, helium. And then above helium, is going to be hydrogen. Okay. And then the hydrogen goes off into space. It just kind of fizzles out into space. And so the, you know, above the 80 kilometers is the heterosphere uh, separated into layers because um, there's uh, less mixing going on. And uh, these layers or shells are going to be stratified based on their atomic or molecular weight. Okay, so that's the structure of the atmosphere um, defined by meteorologists based on the gaseous composition of the atmosphere. Uh, next, uh, we're going to continue this figure, and I'm going to draw um, onto this figure uh, layers of the atmosphere based on temperature trends. Okay, so that's next.